Amazing, beautiful, thank you. Chris Manson shares the reaction he got from Ukrainians when he told them what he'd soon be sending over. They can't wait to have it, it's needed desperately. It being an ambulance from the Richmond Ambulance Authority loaded with medical supplies donated by members of the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association. So I, I just can't express enough thanks for that. The donations are going to Manson's nonprofit, U.S. Ambulances for Ukraine, which he launched after the war started when his seven-year-old daughter asked him about it. She said, you know, Dad, is there anything that we can do to help? And so that got me thinking. This was the first ambulance Manson sent over and has reached 18 so far. Richmond's will be part of a larger shipment sent later this year that will include three fire trucks. This is why America is such a special place, uh, that we you know, are, are willing to dig deep. Friday, the contribution was celebrated by state and local leaders, including U.S. Senator Mark Warner, who, along with the others, helped load some of the supplies and wrote their names and messages of support on the vehicle. This, in so many ways, represents kind of the heart of who we are as Americans. We send assistance through our government, but we also make these kind of uh, charitable contributions. For RAA, the decision to help out was an easy one and praised Manson's work. To be able to take an idea and use it to, to help people, especially people that are, are so deserving. Manson says Richmond's ambulance is likely going to a fire department in a city that's seen missile and drone strikes. And in the end, he says the work they're doing not only helps the Ukrainians in their fight, but lets them know they're not alone. We're not doing the hard, the hard heavy lifting, um, but, but we care and we're trying to do what we can to help. And as you saw, those here were adding their names and messages of support to the ambulance. And RAA says it will stay here until November 9th and are inviting the public to come out and do the same. Working for you in Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.